And we'd like to welcome to our studio here a gentleman I've known for a while um, and who is the Sedisha promoting a musical project, Yves Lewis. Welcome to Sedisha, welcome to Calabash TV. Thank you. Well, hello, St. Lucia. I'm in love with the music. I'm in love with the music. Man, I can't get enough of it. I was good to see you here, Yves. Certainly good to have you. I have to get used to saying the Yves as I, well. I know, I know. <laughs> because so, yeah, for so many years, you went to music. And that was many, many, many years ago. Um, you were um, part of our um, outfit, um, getting music done and so on. And I know you always had a very deep interest um, in music. Were you, at the time, writing and preparing for this project? No. I mean, quite honestly, I have always looked at myself as not being good enough. Not being good enough to be a musician. Uh, but the passion was burning inside, so I always assumed the role of manager or, you know, uh, producer or behind the scenes guy uh, and I spent a lot of time um, pushing other people you know so what happened after you left here um, I'm just trying to backtrack and give people a sense of your involvement when you left at Lucia I know you were in, in involved in music keenly involved and, and like you say passionate about it um, what happened once you get there what did you start doing music wise writing songs for a long time um, I started a, rec a record label in, in Boston uh, to facilitate my best friend, Semi Warner Francis, uh, in releasing his first album. I was kind of disappointed that after I left St. Lucia, that such a long time went by and he was unable to release an album for whatever reason. So I actually started a record label and a recording studio to help push him. And he did that and we released his first album called Collections on my, on my Wild Cubby music label. Open heaven's doors Love is the key That will set you free So talk to us about even your connection with Semi. I mean, you kept that connection going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that thing started when we were like kids, when we were 13, 15 years old. Um, Buona Francis, uh, Henry Dumas, Bernard Farnes, were some of the members of the band that was called Nature. I helped put their first show together at the, at the town hall and then also at the comprehensive school. But after that, I moved on. Uh, Semi went on the boats to play live and Bernard went into broadcasting, you know. And years later, everything's come in full circle. Excellent. And we're here to promote your... Your album called Dreams, we'll talk a little bit about, about that in just a while because we're sure that has a lot of meaning um, to you as well. Now, um, in terms of your, your writing, because you, you did some writing, producing and so on, what were some of the things that, that automatically came to you as subjects to write? All my songs are songs from the heart. Baby, don't cry. Please don't cry. You know, um, relationships, love mostly is a theme that I'm, I'm passionate on. Um, so I've, uh, I've had more than one marriage, I'll say this much, and th some of those roads were, were a bit rocky. Sitting alone, looking through my window, thinking of you. Visions of you, girl, are so clear in my mind. You know, so the love theme I'm very strong on, on um, makeups and breakups and genuine real feelings from, from some of those. Do you remember when 
We used to stay awake late at night Talking about every little bitty thing I'd probably have tears in my eyes sometimes when I was writing a song. You know, driving and it manifests itself musically in my mind. I wrote the words down and found music to, to suit it. Baby, just hold on tight. I'm gonna love you better. Just hold me close and don't you ever let go. Baby, just hold on tight. So you wrote um, music for her, just for you, or you also wrote for the artists as well? Yeah, well, I, um, I started writing, again, not really believing in myself that much, that um, I was a, you know, prime time, uh, front and center material. So I started writing songs and I tried to do demos to have other people do the vocals on. And I met uh, Christopher Neal who's also St. Lucian, he's in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And um, he said, come to the studio, you know, do a couple songs and uh, you might be pleasantly surprised. They'll come out better than expected. And so said, so done. I went there, we did six songs and I was actually blown away. My confidence started building after that and everything that I had written, I pulled up and I gave him 20 or 30 songs to do. Um, we finished 14 songs on this album and we probably have six more on, um, on the, the, the deck right now that are ready, ready to be, uh, to be mixed and mastered. Rum and rain, it's Danny Valor again. Rum, rum, rum on the road, rum, 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 it's rum on the road. Rum in the rain. So, um, Meeting Christopher was a blessing. Um, all the time that I spent trying to push Semi and then producing other people, all of that came around and a lot of energy built up over the years. Um, so that's why the, uh, the name of the album is Dreams Are For Living. It basically says that, you know, you're never too old to follow your dreams. Even at my, you know, slightly advanced age that um, I'm able to do this. Dreams are for living. Yeah. Hope's what your dreams made of. If you found hope, then you've got the dream. Now you have a dream, then you'll get a smile. When you get a smile, you'll feel alive. Christopher Neal is obviously an exceptional producer, singer-songwriter as well, and I know him pretty well, <laughs> so I can vouch for that as well. So, talk to us about this character as far as the album, because um, I know you you almost like have a mix of what St. Lucian's experience in music, um, in terms of a little bit of country, reggae, you, talk to us about the, the, the decisions as to what genre you decided to feature in there. Yeah. Well. The album, Dreams of a Living, is actually 100% reggae. In my first year, which is like 2018 into 2019, um, I explored all, all the genres that I grew up on. When I grew up, the format of music was, you know, two soccer's, two reggae's, you know, two country and western mm. songs and maybe two top 40, American top 40 songs. Um, so I explored, I explored uh, Zook, I explored a couple of soca tracks, and I explored some reggae, and I felt compelled to do a country song, which has <laughs> been very well received in St. Lucia right now. <laughs> yeah. We've had over 35,000 views on Facebook mm -hmm. and 245 shares. And almost everybody who shared it comment. We have more than 200 comments. Mm -hmm. And the comments are phenomenal. Like people saying they can't stop listening to the song. They have to play it three times in a row. Do you remember when we used to stay awake late at night Talking about every little bit of thing 
No, it's not. You talk about Hold On Tight. It's, it's an exceptional song. I mean, there's everything there's everything about it that you have to like. Um, from, from the I guess, the, the, the message in the song, plus the guitar. I mean, there's everything in there. We Sanchez can connect to it, you would imagine. Baby, just So what was the inspiration behind Hold, me, hold, hold On Time? It was a breakup. It was <laughs> at the end of, uh, of a marriage that, um, again, I was driving and that song came to me that way that um, I'm saying you've been with somebody for so many years and all of a sudden it's like you don't want to break up but you don't know what to do to make it work. You're there, you've tried everything. That some people, you know, just don't mesh. And you try and you try and you try and you try again. So, baby, just hold on tight. I'm gonna love you better. That's you saying, yeah, you know, I'll try everything I can, and then when I can't, I'll try something else. And I remember when you used to hold me close all night. And I remember when our love was worth the fight. You make it very clear. Um, I'm in love with the music what music you're talking about. Talk to us about why you decided to, to pay tribute. To music. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been my life. The only thing I can think of in life that I wanted to be beyond uh, uh, a musician was a pilot. <laughs> and then that was a pipe dream because, you know. Uh, but I've been so passionate about music and I've had so many influences like, you know, Third World, Steel Pulse, Bob Marley, these greats. When you have a boom box and you have to sell coconuts to put eight batteries in it and put it on your shoulder and walk down the road to listen to that bass pound, that's, you know, from a kid, it's a passion. I'm in love with the music. I'm in love with the music. Man, I can't get enough of it. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Said, I'm in love with the music. I'm in love with the music. Man, I can't get enough of it. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Um, and I'm in love with the music. I actually did a soca version of it. Uh, and I did a dance hall remix of it. Reggae, dance hall, soca, calypso. Only one sees the gal move them hips so merengue, salsa, compa, zook. Everybody listen to the sound boy, duke. It is really speaking to what I love, you know, and what puts a spark in my eyes. I would spend 20 hours in the studio and get four hours sleep doing music. That's how passionate I really was about it. I grew up on Kaiso with a little bit of soca. Soca by Arrow, Calypso by Sparrow, and we used to love reggae. Yes, we used to love reggae. I'm in love with the music. Man, I can't get enough of it. Um, now you mentioned that you still in studio. You still have some additional tracks that Christopher has worked on that's still there. So obviously you're thinking of a of a second album. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grow and grow and grow and grow. And um, it's only been two years into it. Mm. And within the two years of saying, all right, I want to go do music, I was able to produce 14 tracks on an album. And I know the formula. I know what's needed. You know, you isolate yourself, you zone out, you write, you get the music down to match it, mix and master, and bring it to the public. Fantasy, Fantasy. wish that you were laying right here next to me. <laughs> I've, I, I've influenced a lot of people. I met a young lady today that um, she's been wanting to do a gospel album for so long, a gospel album, 
And when I told her my story, which is always at the tip of my tongue, never too old to follow your dreams. Dreams are for living, you know? And she said I inspired her, and she's, I gave her a copy of it, and she's gonna go do her gospel album. I woke up so early in the morning with the same thing on my mind. Tell me what happened to my dreams. So I was about to ask you, will the next album be in the reggae vein or are you going to move into a different genre? I think I'll keep doing reggae, mm. but I will probably always go ahead and do a soca or a zook or a country. Um, I got a couple of people pushing me, telling me that, you know, I should go do country because reggae is saturated. There's, uh, but at the end of the day, it's what's, it's what's in your heart. Yeah, because I was about to ask you, you said if you, if you, if you have 35 million, sorry, 35,000, um, views, then to me that's almost natural that you, you gravitate to what gets you the likes of the views. Yeah, but um, I'm in love with the music. The Dancehall remix mm -hmm. actually got 47,000 views on Facebook and about 50 shares. I'm a tip to DJ, put it on replay. We bust a gender thing, a sell off eBay. We be giving out free teas with the rebate. It be satisfaction guaranteed, no debate. I'm in love with the music. Now, in terms of, uh, you mentioned that um, that the music will be available um, almost everywhere that music is being sold now, digitally. So give us an idea, where can we get your music online? Well, um, I have my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. On so it's my on, on, on your name or Wild Cubby? It's under Eves Lewis. Mm -hmm. It's under my name, Eves Lewis. You can search me on YouTube and um, listen to the stuff, and if you like it, you feel like supporting, you can subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. That is the main um, place um, that you can listen to me free. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> but beyond that, um, Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon has Amazon Music. You can download it there. You can, you can um, listen on Amazon Music also. Right. You can listen on Spotify. You can listen on iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Pandora. So it's... Um, it's out there on most of the digital pl platforms. So which track on this album has the most uh, significance? I know they're all your baby and, and you'd you appreciate all of them, but which one um, has the most significance for you? Um, I've Waited For You, which mm -hmm. is the first track on the album. I would probably say is my favorite. Spend all my life waiting for you to be mine. And I kind of struggled on which track to put up first, mm -hmm. but um, it has to do with me having to sit here in St. Lucia, do construction, and the person that was in my life at the time was off on a cruise ship working, you know? And the song says, I waited for you, uh, and then you're here, I don't know what to do. It's like, the person's going back soon back to another another six months on the ship, which, um, I don't know, a lot of families there go for that. Yeah. There are a lot of people there who work, who work on cruise ships and they see their loved ones for a very short time. I'm hoping I'll get it right this time. I've waited for you for such a long time. You're finally coming to view. How's your stint here so far? I know you're here to promote this, but I'm sure you make time for family and friends as well. Yeah, I actually came down and it was my godmother's 80th birthday party. Mm. Uh, and that woman was not just a godmother to me, but she was a mother to the whole community. I, I posted something on Facebook to that effect that's just, people are going crazy with comments on it. One lady 
named Omasya from Pebush who adopted everybody who was in need, you know. Um, yeah, and uh, that's like after my mom and dad passed away. I come from a big family of 18 brothers and sisters. She basically became my, my second mother. Um, she was my godmother for a long time, the place I always run to when um, I didn't want to be at home. <laughs> I would go straight to her house. And um, yeah, it was nice coming down and celebrating her 80th with her and get a chance to see all my family at the same time, you know, make my rounds. They're quite spread out, <laughs> you know, so it takes a while to go door to door and visit everybody. Oh, Papa, Papa, why did you leave me? And the album is called Dreams Are For Living and um, he's written all the songs in there, you, you've written all of them? Yes, well, no, I'm not that greedy. I, uh, I co there was one co-writer on track number four, mm -hmm. a guy named Bartholomew Charles, who is from St. Lucia as well. He's a mm -hmm. keyboard player um, from the Valley. Mm -hmm. um, he he co-wrote one of the songs on there with me. Excellent. Yeah, so. Do you believe in karma? So that's uh, Eve's Lewis. The album is called Dreams Are For Living. It's out now. We, like you mentioned, you can get it um, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, Amazon, Apple Music. It's available everywhere digitally. Um, and also you can go check out the YouTube page and share it, like it. Um, especially the song, Hold On Tight, which is getting a lot of traction here in St. Lucia. It's certainly good to see you. And we'd like to wish you all the best and convey our best wishes to Christopher as well when you head back. And we look forward to the second project sometime next year. Thank you. I heard my mama pray. I hope you make it back okay. Like, Papa, why, why, why did you leave me to deal with this alone? Papa, why, why, why did you leave me to face the bad world alone? Please, Papa, why did you leave me standing here alone? Please, Papa, why did you leave me out there on my own? This is Calabash TV. We appreciate having Eves Lewis here with us and we appreciate Jackie for making that connection and bringing Eves to our attention here in, in, and bringing out so many other musicians to the limelight in St. Lucia. So thank you for being part of this interview and we appreciate you watching and we urge you to join us again next week for another conversation. Oh Papa, Papa, why did you leave me? Oh.